The New York Rangers will be taking on the Washington Capitals in round one of the 2023-2024 NHL playoffs. So in today's video, I'll be giving you all a preview of this first round matchup. It should be a very entertaining series to watch. So we're going to get right into it here, starting off with the standings, where these teams finished in the regular season. And now, yes, I know that was the regular season. It does not matter a whole lot on what you do as long as you will make the playoffs, finish top three in your division, or at least get one of those two wildcard spots. You have a chance at winning the Stanley Cup, and that's exactly what all these teams are trying to do at the end of the day. And both these teams ended up making it. The Rangers finished first place in the regular season at the top spot of the entire NHL winning the President's Trophy, their fourth all-time. And it was a very great regular season to watch as a Rangers fan. But the Washington Capitals, on the other hand, definitely did not have quite as much success in the regular season as the Rangers did, as they ended up finishing in 17th place in the entire NHL, 8th in the Eastern Conference. But overall, I mean, this should be a good series here. The Capitals are still a pretty veteran team. They have quite a few you know, veteran guys who have been there. They've won their cup. They've obviously have a lot of experience, you know, Vetchkin, Tom Wilson, John Carlson. They have a lot of great players in that team still, although they don't have as much star power as they have had in the past. They're still a very solid team, although they finished 17th place. They're definitely not going to be an easy first round opponent by any means. And now taking a look at what the Rangers and Capitals did in last year's playoffs. Both these teams ended up being first round exits for the Rangers. They lost in game seven to the New Jersey Devils, which... For some of the Rangers players, they just did not show up at all. You had a guy like Lafreniere, he had zero points. Trocek had one, Panarin had two. I mean, a lot of guys in this Rangers team just really did not show up in last year's playoffs. Igor Sturkin and Net, he was quite phenomenal, posted some phenomenal numbers. But in general, the Rangers had a pretty decent start to the series, just couldn't really finish it off there, had a pretty bad ending, and obviously ended up losing in Game 7, which was not too great at all. And for the Washington Capitals, they ended up losing in Game 6 of the first round to the Florida Panthers, who... Ended up going all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals. They had a phenomenal playoff run. They were a very good team, very tough team to play against as well. And the Caps put up a pretty good fight there. I mean, most of those games were fairly close. So I don't think they were necessarily you know, blown out in that series. But at least they went to Game 6. They had a good run there, but unfortunately could not get past the Panthers. But I think they still put up a pretty good fight. And the Panthers, like I said, were a very, very good team last year. For team stats here, the Rangers on paper definitely look like a much better team than the Caps here. For goals four per game, the Rangers ended up finishing in seventh place with a 3.39. The Capitals ended up finishing in 28th place with a 2.63. Their offense just was not the best this year. You know, very, very close to the bottom there. So they definitely were not the best offensively. For goals against, once again, the Rangers finished in seventh place, finishing with a 2.76 goals against per game. Not too bad at all. Both those were top seven, which is very good to see. For the Capitals, they ended up finishing in 16th place for goals against per game with a 3.07. So a decent amount worse than the Rangers once again. And then for the power play percentage, the Rangers ended up finishing third in the entire league with a 26.4. For the Capitals, they were right around kind of the middle of the league there in number 17th place with a 20.6. So once again, in those stats, there are quite a bit of a distance between the Rangers and Capitals. For penalty kill percentage, again, the Rangers are third place with an 84.5. A very good power play, very good penalty kill. Overall, the special teams for the Rangers are very good. And then once again, for the Capitals, they ended up finishing in 17th place for penalty kill with a 79%. So not the best, but definitely not too bad. In general, their special teams are about middle of the pack. The Rangers are both top three, so very interesting there. The Rangers definitely have the advantage on special teams. Then for the face-offs, though, once again, the Rangers kind of crushed them in this category, being in number seventh place, face that win percentage per the team with a 52.3. And the Capitals are way down there in 29th place with a 46.7. So overall, a lot of these team stats, the Rangers, you know, on paper, Definitely have a clear advantage, especially those special teams there being in you know, third place with both those caps or 17th for both them. There's a pretty big gap there. So the special teams definitely are in favor of the Rangers going into this series, at least on paper. But things can definitely change. You know, the power play for the uh, Washington Capitals there, they've got Alex Ovechkin, who, if you didn't hear, he's a pretty good power play guy. Definitely not too bad there. His one he's all right. So he can obviously be pretty lethal there in the playoffs. And if he gets hot, he can really take over a series. So we'll have to wait and see what happens there. But the penalty kill being quite good for the Rangers there is definitely a very nice thing to see. And one of the biggest matchups in this first round series for both teams are the two goaltenders. Igor Shosturkin, who is a former Vesna winner. He has been absolutely amazing in the playoffs, the last couple of playoff runs for the Rangers. Uh, going up against here, Ryan Lindgren's brother, who is a New York Rangers defenseman, Charlie Lindgren, who was a goaltender, the starting one for the Washington Capitals. He's had quite the phenomenal season. Definitely had some up and down months, but in general, Charlie's been pretty great. And 
this is a guy who can definitely heat up and have a really good hot stretch there. So he's going to have to be a pretty big factor in this series if the Capitals want to have a chance with their, you know, not amazing offense and not amazing defense and you know, not great special teams either. They're definitely going to have to have their goaltender in Charlie have a pretty big series. And he has also never started or even been in an NHL playoff game before. This will be his first game on Sunday at 3 p.m. So who knows how he's going to play. It'll be interesting to see what happens there. You know, he's going into MSG for his first career playoff game in the NHL. That's definitely, you know, not the easiest thing to do. But so far in this regular season, he's done pretty good, having a 9-11 save percentage, a 2.67 goals against average. He's got 25 wins, 16 losses, 7 overtime losses, 6 total shutouts in 50 games played. He's played pretty good. I mean, obviously the Capitals are definitely not a great team. They're a good team, and I'm not saying they're a bad team by any means, and they're by no means going to be an easy first-round opponent for the Rangers, but... They're on paper, at least, definitely not really close to as good as the Rangers. It's going to be a very tough series, but like I said, Charlie's going to have to play very, very good if the Capitals truly want to have a chance to win this series. And for the Rangers, they have a very good goaltender in Igor Shosturkin in net, who's definitely not had the best overall season, but as of late, since the All-Star break, he has been amazing. Having a 9.29 save percentage and a 2.2 goals against average since the All-Star break, he has been absolutely amazing he's been back in Vesna caliber form and in the playoffs Igor has shown up pretty much every single time he's needed to last year's playoff run against the New Jersey Devils he ended up having a 931 save percentage with a 1.96 goals against average in those seven games played against the Devils and then back in 2021 2022 when the Rangers went all the way to the conference finals against the Tampa Bay Lightning where they lost in six games there he ended up having 20 games played in that playoff run having a 929 save percentage with a 2.59 goals against average Igor has been really great in the playoffs pretty much his entire career for the Rangers in the NHL, having 28 total games played over three different seasons, having a 9.29 save percentage and a 2.45 goals against average. Igor has really come up in the biggest moments, and that is very good to see. You want to see your goalie obviously you know, have a good regular season, but when your starting goaltender shows you that he can perform in the biggest moments in the playoffs, that is a very, very good sign. And some very interesting player stats to take a look at here. The top point producer on the Washington Capitals is Dylan Strome with 82 games played, 67 total points. You take a look at the Rangers. If he was on the Rangers here with those exact point totals, he would be in sixth place. There are five New York Rangers players who have more points than the top point producer on the Capitals, which is pretty crazy to see. Zibanejad, Fox, Kreider, Trocek, and Panarin all have more points than the top point producer on the Capitals, five guys on the Rangers. That is pretty wild to see. So it does kind of show you that the Rangers have been a very good you know, offensive team. Yes, the Rangers are a very good power play team and can have their issues scoring out five on five. But in general, it kind of shows you how you know, not great the overall offense is on the Capitals. They don't have quite the firepower that they used to have. I mean, Ovechkin had a pretty slow start of the season. He ended up finishing with 31 goals. So very good for him. But in general, though, the Rangers just have a much better you know overall team on paper. And another thing for the Capitals as well is the overall kind of depth that they've had in past years when they've gone on some great runs. They don't quite have this year. You take a look at the overall kind of points. Right now, they only have three guys above 36 total points points, which isn't a lot. I mean, they have no one at, at a point per game. And for the defensemen, they have some all right depth, but I think in general, just don't have quite enough star power on the back end to really compete with a team like the Rangers, who have one of the best offenses in the entire NHL and definitely have quite the good, you know, overall kind of depth scoring, especially if Philip Heedle can come back. I mean, we'll have to wait and see truly if he does or doesn't, because it'll be interesting there. You want to be really careful with head injuries, but if he comes back, that will definitely add a pretty big punch to this Rangers overall offense, which already is one of the best in the entire NHL. And for my prediction, I have the Rangers winning in five games there, winning the series 4-1 to one in the first round against the Washington Capitals. Now, I definitely could be wrong, and it wouldn't surprise me at all if the Rangers end up going six games against the Capitals. But personally, I don't think it's going to be a sweep. I think the Capitals probably could be good at least one game. And I don't necessarily see it going to Game 7. All the Capitals are a good team. They've got some better guys. I mean, Ovechkin could completely take over this series alongside, you know, guys like Tom Wilson and Dylan Strome, who've actually had quite good seasons as well. I think in general, the Rangers team is just a lot better, at least on paper. And I think the overall star power and depth the Rangers has is just going to be a little too much for the Washington Capitals, especially with Igor Annette. If he is on his game, which I definitely expect him to do because he has shown that in the playoffs, he shows up when it matters most. I think this team is just too good for the Capitals and the Rangers will win in five games. 
Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please smash the like button. It helps out the channel a ton. Don't forget to subscribe for daily New York Rangers content. If you're a Rangers fan, this is the place to be. Definitely hit the subscribe button. And also, don't forget to comment down below your predictions on this series and other series if you want as well. But in general, what do you think this series is going to be? Do you think the Rangers win? How many games? Or do you think the Capitals win? Let me know in the comment section down below. If there are any Cap fans out there as well, definitely comment your predictions down below as well. Do you think your team has a good chance? Let me know your guys' thoughts. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.